The city of St. George wants help in shaping its future. Typically, the city revisits its overall master plan every 20 years. The last general plan conducted in St. George was done in 2004. And it's really going to provide the vision of what St. George City is going to be. We're going to look at where you shop, where you, you know, where you recreate, um, where residential's at, the type of residential. Everything is encompassed within the general plan. It's really the vision of the community. However, for the first time ever, St. George will also create a plan that includes the downtown area. So it's the first one we've ever done. We're going to look at all of the commercial area. You know, what do we want a commercial area to look like? Do we want mixed use? Do we want, you know, what kind of heights do we want? What kind of uses do we want in the downtown area? And we're going to focus on that core area. But then also we're going to look at all of the, uh, the residential neighborhoods. What do those look like? Right now, housing around the downtown area is mixed use with both single family and multiple housing apartments. Another part of the plan will include how to describe and support community neighborhoods. We have Sandtown. Do we have other neighborhoods? How do we promote those neighborhoods? How do we create a sense of, um, of place and ownership of those neighborhoods. You know, how do I create the, hey, I live in, in Sandtown, and what does Sandtown look like? If you think about some of the surrounding areas, you have Little Valley, Bloomington, Bloomington Hills, people that live in those areas, they have a sense of, of pride, they live there. We want that same pride of ownership of your neighborhood to happen downtown, and I think it's already happening. Another important area the city wants to focus on is the south end of Main Street. South Main is a, um, it's, a, it's, a it's, it's an area where we have a lot of potential. When you think about when you come into St. George, you know, you get off Bluff Street and you, you know, you hit that South Main area. Um, there's a lot of vacant land. Um, we're looking at that and, and does that make sense to be kind of an expansion of our downtown area? And what, what, is that, what does that need to become? The plan will also look at expanding bicycle paths, pedestrian walkways, and connectivity to parks and other destinations safely. How do we take that trail and push people to our downtown area, push our people to university, push them to Vernon Worthen Park? So actually looking at those cross sections and making sure that we have that active transportation um, routes and people feel safe to pull them off the trail to create destinations is a big part of this plan. An online survey asks questions wanting to know what's important to those who live here. How do you see St. George? What do you find important to St. George? What do you find, you know, the most difficult thing about St. George? So there's a series of questions that will help guide um, the general plan. And this is the, the first of several different surveys we will do. Uh, we're also going to have public outreach events. And so this is, this is only one way that we're going to try to solicit the public's input. Willis said they want to have this first survey completed by the middle of May. We really need people's participation um, because every, every person um, in the community, their voice matters. The goal is to have the plan completed by the end of this year. We have a lot of opportunity for people to to live downtown, a lot of young families, and I think that um, the next you know 20 years is going to be real exciting to see what happens with the downtown, and hopefully this plan will create that vision and that path for us to get there. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.